Hello. Good day, everyone. Guess what? We live in Playa del Carmen, and we're going to Tulum. I am super stoked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what? You hear so much about Tulum, the sculptures, the beaches, the cenotes. You know, I'm truly looking forward to getting there. So it's going to be about an hour and a half drive, depending on traffic. Let's see what happens. It will definitely be worth it. Yeah. You want? You want? <laughs> Try it? Nah, I don't really like the jelly. As you can see, we've arrived and we're staying at the second floor of this uh, hacienda. That's our place there. Um, it overlooks this pool. And uh, yeah, let me show you around the grounds before I take you in. There you go, you have some seating over there and the pool, nice size pool, a hammock. And uh, this is looking from the second floor down. It's pretty nice here. Some rooms have like hammocks in front of them. I guess this, this one will be ours here. And this is our room number six. Right. So when you first walk in, you are in the kitchen. And Gladys is putting everything away. Hey, welcome home. I'm just gonna put all our groceries away. So tomorrow morning I can find everything nice and easy. Yeah. And so when you walk in, you walk into the space that's kitchen slash dining right there. And uh, this would be like your living area. It's like a built-in sofa. Has air conditioning. Pretty cool, right? A nice size television. Um, ceiling fan. And uh, yeah, this isn't bad. This is it in widescreen mode. Looks very clean. Yeah. Which is very important to us. Kitchen's big enough for what for you? It's too big. <laughs> I prefer no kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> She means that too. I do. So here's your bathroom. Wow. First time I'm seeing the bathroom, it's pretty nice. And in the shower, this is what you have. Pretty spacious. Let's check out the bedroom. Ah, it's about a queen or king size. Looks more like a queen. But again, air conditioning. Wow, I like this. We've got a safe right there. And uh, that's it guys. That's where we're staying for the next few nights. We're nowhere next to the beaches. No, I would say a uh, 10 minute drive. 10 minute drive to the touristy area. We're staying out of that zone, so yeah. we pay a lot less, right? Absolutely. And now I think that's the way to go. So we got our car for, believe it or not, $100 for five days, 100 US. And if you want to find out how we did that, we had to jump through some hoops, but I think you can too. Just uh, hit us up on IG or leave us a message in the uh, yeah. comments below and we'll let you know how we got our car for $100. We'll give you the hookup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think it's the way to go when you're in Tulum because I heard taxis are like extremely expensive. And staying on the beach is at least <clears> over 150 US dollars. So I mean, unless that's within your budget, right. go for it. But it's way we're over okay hours. <laughs> way over hours, and we're okay with driving to the beach and going exploring. Yeah. On a day-to-day -day basis. So. so we're gonna settle in, and we'll see you guys in a few. Alright, good 
Good morning, everyone. So yesterday when we came in, we actually just crashed. Gladys fell asleep because she had a bad headache. And we are going to go and explore Tulum for the first time. We'll give you our first impressions. How are yeah, you feeling? I'm excited. I was disappointed last night that we weren't feeling too good. And no. I had to migrate like Kenny said. So I'm ready to head out and get this day started. Yeah, you know what? This is not actually the lighting for the apartment. It's more like that. Oh. There you go. Oh. So it looks, this is what it actually looks like. And as you can see, it's a mess back there. We have settled in, guys. That's how we do it. <laughs> it only takes moments for us to settle in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're parked and we're walking the strip of Tulum and my honest opinion, I'm not really impressed. Neither am I. Yeah. But it is very dusty. <laughs> it's very dusty. There's a lot of construction. The strip itself is just a lot of restaurants, pretty boutiques. Yeah. Um, other than that, there's really not much to it. I mean, it's very lush with the plants and the trees and everything else, but I don't know, I think I was expecting something else. I think, um, good job to all you YouTubers out there. You painted a beautiful picture. <laughs> yeah, you had me Tulum. fooled. Tulum, yeah. Um, and all the sculptures that you see on Instagram that are definitely photoshopped. Um, they're not all accessibly, how do you say it? You can't, they're just not off on, this is not on the main road. Some yeah. of them are hotels and you, have, you, have, to, to you have to pay a fee to, to access. I don't know if you have to pay a fee, but I know you have to, it's in the entrance of the hotel. Oh, I see. I don't know if you have to pay a fee, I don't think so. But the good thing is that those spots are empty, so we can get our photo without waiting online. All right guys, we're in line to take a picture. Vin a la luz sculpture. Right. Construction to our right, a line in front of us, <laughs> all for the sculpture. I must say the only reason we are here is because we need a thumbnail. Exactly. And <laughs> if not, we would have totally skipped it. And once yeah. people see the sculptures here, they think of Tulum. So Yeah, we're such online. a hype. Such a hype. And we paid 70 pesos each plus 200 pesos to park our vehicle. Yeah. So this thumbnail is gonna cost us sixteen dollars and twenty-one cents. <laughs> US dollars. Yeah, so exactly. Please click on the link. <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> so, so far, I think it's overrated, guys. I'm sorry. Nevertheless, we're still going to have a good time here. Yeah, we are. You know what? I'll take that back for now. I'm going to give it benefit, benefit of doubt until later. All right, so Gladys is making an appointment to come back tomorrow where we can park, eat for $60 a person, US, and that includes food, parking, access to beach chairs, access to their jacuzzi, and access to the beachfront. Huh. All right guys, we're gonna go check out the uh, beach real quick to see if it's even worth coming back here tomorrow. We're only given access today because we are negotiating a price for tomorrow. But other than that, you're not gonna walk in here So after a quick uh, stop for lunch, I had some tacos, some pork tacos, grilled pork tacos. It was so delicious. good. Yeah, uh, for 190 pesos. We're back at the car. We're gonna head back home, rest up, mm -hmm. freshen up, and come back out. Hi. Gracias. <laughs> Okay, 
Good, Good morning, morning, guys. It's our second full day here in Tulum, and unlike yesterday, where we spent the entire day down at the beach resort area, mm -hmm. today we're going a little more local. Yes, we are going to Gran Cenote, and I'm super excited to be getting out of Tulum a little bit and into something more exciting. <laughs> exactly, it's one of the more popular cenotes here, and uh, you know, we're trying to beat the crowds there today, only because when you do get there, if you get there later in the day, it's packed. So, mm -hmm. guess what? See you there in a few. All right, so we made it here. We were one of the first few people here. There was a line. We were totally <laughs> surprised. We got here at 7.55. I mean, not they open at 8, but I wasn't expecting that long line. No, there were about, I would say, about 12 people here before us, yeah. believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> we have to shower before we get into the cenotes. And I did read that the water is super cold, so I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> but I am looking forward to enjoying it completely. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's very pretty in here. The grounds are very nice. Um, it's a short walk from the entrance to the cenote, so there's really not much to it. No. Um, but let's just go shower and explore. <laughs> <laughs> right. This thing is great for the skin, so hopefully you tighten this body up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so for lunch we ended up at Burrito Amor and I have to say they have the best burritos in the world. You know, it's first time I've ever had a vegan burrito and it was delicious. It sure was. I was definitely not missing the meat in that. No, it was so no. tasteful and so <clears throat> flavorful. Oh my yeah. gosh. You know, it's filling but it's light, you know, you don't feel stuffed. And uh, it's, it's pretty in here. It's a nice atmosphere. You're outside or you can sit inside. Surrounded yeah. by flowers, you're under palm trees, you know. Back to the burrito. The burrito <laughs> was wrapped in banana leaf. Oh yeah. I think it gave it that extra hint of flavor. I asked the gentleman why. He said that's a thing here. They also make other meals like tamales. I've never had that before. But in any event, I highly recommend coming here and grabbing a burrito. And the lemonade. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I, I think we're the, coming back here. <laughs> I had the green juice. I think it's like a made of cacti, but it was good. You gotta yeah, try that when delicious. you come here. Alright, so enough of burritos and we'll see you at the next location. We're here at the Azul Museum. It was totally not part of our plan. No, it wasn't. <laughs> but I'm so glad that we stopped by because it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's here. gorgeous, guys. Seriously. If you're following those Instagram shots, this is definitely the place to be. You definitely see a whole lot of. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the place to be for that. <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful in here. Like I said, it costs 200 pesos to get in. Once you're inside, you have to take off your shoes. Um, if you're walking around here for some time, your feet tend to hurt a bit. If you're walking on the uh, the wooden part of it, because some of the wood you're sticks up, but um, it was built by an artist, and he's tried to incorporate the actual surroundings into the building. So you'll see he's built around trees, he's mm -hmm. built around rocks, 
it's like a maze, it's, it's just gorgeous, it has a lot of skylights and uh, the roof itself is made out of fiberglass, it's sort of like, not completely uh, transparent but enough sunlight. where it lets in sunlight. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was built in 2018 and it took roughly 8 months to build. 8 months of workers working 24-7, <laughs> we were told. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head out of here, either visit the ruins or oh, the yeah. beach. Hey guys, we're back at the stay. We had such an awesome day today. Unlike yesterday, we were exploring the hotel zone and I'm a bit disappointed because it's not what I thought it would be. It's highly overrated in my opinion. I think it's completely overrated. You're paying big bucks for beachfront property where the beaches are not all that. They're too rough to swim. And if you want to leave the hotel and go for a walk on a strip, it's not pedestrian friendly. It's dusty. It's all hell. <laughs> and it's, there's so much traffic there. Everything is far apart and mm -hmm. it's just not even worth your time and money there. So yeah, even the food is so expensive. Yeah, the exactly. only thing I loved about that place was the Azuk Museum. I think it's pretty cool, and I think you should visit. Other than that, I think we had a much better time today. Yeah, today was an awesome day. <laughs> yeah, we started off at Grand Cenote, which is highly recommended that you go there. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Then we actually grab lunch in the uh, in downtown Tulum, where you get to interact with the locals, mm -hmm. such kind, friendly people. And the food was delicious. At a fraction of the price. <laughs> and uh, then we did what? We went to a national park. We went, went for a walk on the beach. Yep, where to access that beach was free. There's parking there. Mm -hmm. um, the only money you spend there is if you rent like an umbrella or cabana. Or buy a snack. Um, or, or buy a, a snack, right? The beaches are so wide and the water was so calm. I would definitely go for a swim there. It was totally, definitely enjoyable. Totally. And so, then after that, we hung out downtown, Tulum, yeah. which I absolutely enjoyed. The sidewalks were wide, plenty of parking. Yes. Lots, lots of restaurants. Lots as of well. restaurants, cafes, shops. Just if you want to do some shopping, they're local sell, selling their, their artwork, <coughs> their, artwork, their paintings, yeah. their, their craft. It's, ice it's cream really parlor. Nice. <laughs> Someone got a chocolate ice cream. Yeah. Overall, I think Tulum is a great place to visit. We just, again, think that the, the hotel zone is highly overrated. You can yeah. get, I think, a better personal experience hanging out downtown than it is in a hotel area. Yeah, for sure. So, if you visited here before, I would love to know your thoughts and what do you think about Tulum? Is there something that we missed or we're not getting? Um, yeah, that's it for us. Uh, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Like this video if you haven't already. Make sure you share it with at least one of your friends and we'll see you next week. See you later. Bye. guys many of you are asking how can we afford to travel well a few years ago we decided to become minimalist and live on a tiny house on wheels that gave us the financial freedom to travel more we decided to collect moments and not things click on the link above so you can meet Babs our dream home let us know what you think about our tiny house on wheels and would you live in one if you can travel more thanks for watching please like this video and share it with at least one of your friends see you next week bye